What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with more of my Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra playthrough. In the last episode, we arrived in the Crown Tundra, met up with Peony and Naya, and got involved in their interpersonal family drama, kind of unwittingly. And now, we have tracked them here, after catching a bunch of Pokemon, to a place called a Max Lair. So now after we brush past all these other players who are here because I'm online, we're gonna see what this is all about. I assume this has something to do with the Dynamax Adventure mode we're supposed to be able to do in the second DLC. Please, sir, I can't let you... Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure. I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Ugh. Oh, hey, what's up, main character? Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Something the matter? Nothing's all right, and everything's the matter. Oh, so it's one of those questions where it kind of didn't matter where I picked. Fun. This ultra mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir! If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax Adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid. Yep, this is Dynamax Adventures stuff. This is probably the tutorial for that. Gah, I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I can allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Ah, <laughs> now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll find my little Naya together, right? Right. Sure, I kind of feel like I'm getting roped into this. Let's talk to some NPCs first. I've got wonderful items to offer you in exchange for Dynite Ore. Okay, I guess it's going to be like the Armorite Ore from uh, Isle of Armor. What have we got here? Experience candy, Simex candies, Wishing Pieces, Armorite Ore. So I can use Dynite Ore to pay for Armorite Ore, and I can use Armorite Ore on the Isle of Armor to pay for that stuff. Huh. Too bad I already have 152 pieces of Armorite Ore, so I'll never have to make that exchange. Also got some Vitamins, Premier Balls, Beast Balls, Bottle Caps, Ability Capsules. Ooh, this is the Ability Patch. Alright, the one that allows you to give your Pokemon the hidden ability if it has one. Nice, alright, so... I'm hoping this isn't the only place we can find that, because I honestly don't know how easy it's going to be to farm Dynite Ore. But at least I know that's the first place we can find that. The Max Lair is a labyrinthian underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Form a team of four trainers and set to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Rentalmons, alright. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a Max Raid battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with one... You can swap it with the one you have, excuse me, if you think it'll help you press into the depths of the den. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle overexposure, which would cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle's effects. Okay. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon runs some particles and we might see a rare... No, that's not really right. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp on the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, huh? Right. Sounds like this will be all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and get cracking. That seems ill-advised. Sir, no, I just told you it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but this attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. I'm still saying estranged brother. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down... Pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. No, I'm good to go now. Let's rock and roll. Alright, so we can only keep one of the Pokemon we catch along the way, and we get some Dynite Ore. Oh, we gotta save beforehand. Okay, so it's... I guess it makes sense. It's basically a string of Max Raids. 
You're still new to Dynamax Adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Alright, we get some NPC friends. Alright, so... I, I thought I was literally going to have to do it myself. Oh god, there's a time limit on this. Oh fuck. Um, 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 uh... Uh, Jellicent! Alright, let's see. Oh, there's lots of options. A water type at the end of the tunnel, huh? You know, I did see earlier towards the end of the last episode that someone had done a Dynamax adventure that ended with them facing off against a Suicune. I wonder if that's not the... I wonder if that's not the Pokemon at the end of this. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna say we go for the Water Path. Because the dragon is probably Duraludon, and it's going to be resistant to everything we have. At least we can resist this back, because I think it's a war turtle. Yep. Nidaria Rex! King Jellyfish. He drew this big max star to start things off. Should get you to about the point where your shields come up. Also, I'm wondering what, like ranking all these Dynamax battles are going to be. I'm assuming these are all going to be, like, 5-star. Oh, it didn't get down to the shield threshold? Really? Oh, and of course... Of course... It avoids the Stone Edge. I said this in the last episode, but if anyone on the ally side uses Stone Edge, it, like, drops to negative 30% accuracy, I swear. I wonder if they don't have, like, the shield health thresholds, like, in regular Max Ray battles, just because, um... Just because there's, like, multiple max battles we're gonna have to do in a row to get to the end of the cavern. Which I guess would make sense for balancing's sake. I just think it's an interesting change. Ah, crap. There goes our Kadabra. That's fine. We still got three months. We still got three months. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, it's the end of the turn. It's fine. I feel like we kill it this turn, even without Kadabra. Because Barbaric was about to use Skull Bash. I can hit it with a Dazzling Gleam. Bulldor can just hopefully not die and hit it with something. Hopefully it won't even get to that point. Yep. And that's all she wrote. Oh wait, I'm just noticing that like Legend of Zelda style heart meter on the top left side. Do the chaos carry over th throughout the entire Dynamax adventure? Like, am I gonna have to worry about how many chaos we've had this entire time? Oh, and apparently whose turn is the Dynamax also carries over. I wonder if we only get one Dynamax throughout the entire adventure. Cause, uh, that's a bit awkward. Cause I kind of already blew it on the freaking War Turtle battle. Oh, come on, man. Really? You don't have Shadow Ball in your Kadabra for, for coverage or something? See, Barbarco has Poison Jab. Barbarco knows what's up. And we got the Poison. That's good. Oh, that did nothing. Got to about half, though. That's good. That's good. That's good. We are, we are in business. We have to risk the dive. You'll do more damage on the next turn. Oh, I didn't even have to come up with the dive. Sick. Uh, let's go to the flying type. Because I kind of want to see if those are berries up ahead that we can get. I'm hoping that means we can heal up somehow. Honestly, I'm going into this with, like, no prior knowledge. I didn't look at leaks or anything, so I have no... Cramorants! The boy! Yeah, what I was saying is I honestly have no idea about the fire details of the Dynamax adventure, and thankfully so, because I would like to experience this just, you know, first playthrough style. But, like, it does make it a little harder to know kind of how to do this correctly, because obviously, again, I'm not sure any of the little things on the... Wow! All right! All right, sir! I'm actually gonna... I can't heal. Oh my god, I can't heal. There's no healing in this. Great. Please don't hit me. Yeah, that's probably for the best. This Cram Rat's gonna hit me and just kill me immediately. Why would you use Endure? 
after the Mr. Mime gave you a helping hand. Oh, uh, now it's plus two spadef, and we're gonna have to work so much harder to kill it because we're basically all special attackers. Why do you do this to me, NPCs? What is your... Okay, at least we get the freeze hacks. Thank you, War Turtle. Somebody around here is doing their job. Oh, never mind. Thought out. First turn. Excellent, because of course it did. Of course it thaws out first turn. Love that for me. Love it. I guess we could test my theory now. Oh, I can Dynamax again. Okay, that's good. I don't think I need to. But it's good to know that I could. Kadabra, I'm begging you not to use Endor this time. Thank you. Oh, this is coming for me. This is absolutely coming for me. No, it's going for the War Turtle. You just cost yourself an easy KO. You, sir, are an idiot. Says the guy doing like two damage with Dazzling Gleam. All right, it's fine though. Like one more size shock from this Kadabra and we should be good. I am so out of Dazzling Gleams, this is not even remotely funny. Uh, Icy Wind, I guess. I feel like the Kadabra with a helping hand is gonna kill this thing anyway, so it probably won't matter. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right, what berries? What berries are these? Oh, some of their H- Oh, I get some HP restored? Oh! Oh! Special theme? Hello? And I was right about being Suicune! Oh, boy! Oh, God, and that's pressure. So, this is not great. Because, again, I have no access to my bag, and I have one Dazzling Gleam left. So I'm going to have to use Trick Room, because I can almost guarantee you the Suicune is faster than all of us. Yup. Jesus! Alright! Yup, and the KOs carry over, so we can only get two more knockouts before we're dead. And this whole thing was for naught. It's a good thing you're using Throat Chop so you can't use all those sound-based moves it's definitely been using. Oh, thank God I have Water Absorb. My Kadabra, please just bust out some Psy Shocks, man. I'm begging you. I'm gonna go huge. Alright, I think my best bet, honestly, is Max Hailstorm. I have to go for Max Hailstorm. I know it's not gonna be- I'm not- I know it's not gonna be very effective. I know this is not optimal. But I also know that chip damage from hail is going to help us out a lot. So I'm just hoping for the weather strats to come through here. I'm going to be so glad if I was right and it turns out that the Max Adventure Pokemon don't get shield health at all. Because the last thing I need is a Suicune with barrier health. Oh, it's going to change the weather to rain immediately. And the Kadabra's already down again! Unbelievable, dude! This is, uh... This is not great. I'm just gonna put that out there. This is not going how I wanted it to go. Yo, I'm starting to think sticking with one Pokemon and running down its PP the entire way through this Dynamax adventure was not the optimal strat! Okay, Kadabra's back up. I'm gonna pop off another Max Hailstorm. I'm hoping this will be fine. Because I'm about to lose my Dynamax. And this Suicune is only barely getting towards half health. Not even yet. I am so worried. You're still not even at half. Are you for real? And now you're, not, now you're gonna negate our abilities. Oh my god. Oh, man. This is so not great. Oh, good. And you're buffing your stats. Lovely. Lovely. I love that for me. No, this is this is exactly what I wanted. This is so what I wanted.
Are you joking? What is this RNG curse that I'm dealing with right now? You know, the worst part is that Cramorant has to take damage in order to fire off the Aracuda. I'm not sure it's going to survive long enough to actually make use of it. Ooh, with one HP! One HP in a dream! Okay, that defense lower. Oh my god, that's shield health? Wait. No, wait, it did something different. Can it just counterattack? Is that the fucking desperation action? You just randomly counterattack? God damn, they really did a lot to make this stand out for regular max ray battles, didn't they? Fuck. I'm really not sure that defense drop is gonna do much for us, by the way. I'm just putting that out there, unless this cadaver starts pulling out Psy Shocks. Oh, never mind. Our Cramorant's dead, and I believe that's four KOs. So, uh, as soon as this hail gets done making its rounds, we're probably gonna... Yeah, we're getting kicked out. Love that for me! Oh, hey, at least we got some Dynite Ore. That makes it worth it, right? Oh, okay, so we don't get kicked out. There's still a cutscene to happen. Despite the fact that we got walloped six ways from Sunday. Hang on, I recognize you! Are you here for a Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked! Guess we're on the same wavelength! I'm Peonia. Oh, that's her full name, Peonia. I've been saying Naya this whole time. Is that... Is that weird? I don't know. Pff. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? I'm Daniel. I don't know what that other option meant, so I'm not gonna go with it. Wow, well, with a perfect name for you, it really suits you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound back up at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Things go all right after I left? I mean, he ran down here after you without trying to listen to the scientist at all, but... What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on and on about how he planned for us to check out local legends on the super... Intense, uh, the on this super intense adventure tour, or adventure as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Azim, not now. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped about all this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon and getting destroyed like I did already. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Lair? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends! Tell my old man the deal and all that! Sure, why not? Oi. This man... has had a time. Ugh, it hurts! It ultra mega hurts! Naya, where's my darling Naya? You alright, bro? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Aw. Aw, man. Did they even get into a max den? Ugh. Adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first hand now. First hand, I mean. <laughs> I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly-coly, sir? There we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down for long. That kip's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Naya? Well, here's how it went. Hmm, you don't say. So dear Naya set on staying away until she's had her fill of this Dynamax Adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventor? You know, I burned the candle at both ends, working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Naya's sake. But I guess she's at that age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Should I have introduced you when I kicked your ass in that battle? I'm just saying. Cheers, Daniel! My name's Peony. Wait, I already told you so? <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. Hey, we got Peony's lead card. Cool. 
let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Nile will be itching to join in on the fun. Uh, let's. <laughs> now that's an ultra mega great response, just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Daniel, let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting at Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvene post-haste. Ha, just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? <laughs> that man is something else. Is there anything interesting around here? Ooh, there's a TM around here. Nice. What are you? Cosmic power. Nice. Anything else around here? Nope, nope, nope. I'm just looking for stuff. Just looking for stuff. Just looking for stuff. There's an Obama Snow. Cool. Ooh, an Audino. I mean, I'm never going to use it, but at least it's worth catching for the decks. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, entrainment, what ability do you have? You have healer, okay. Not really gonna make much use of it in this battle. And of course, as usual, I have nothing that won't kill you. So, maybe a play rough? I'm hoping that since I don't have tough glasses, won't do as much damage. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Ooh, you're gonna damage yourself with double edge though. Ugh, okay, yep, yep. Recoil and Rocky Helmet. And the hell's gonna put you just it. Ugh, I don't if I don't catch you this turn, you're dead. Clutch crit capture, let's go. Hey. I don't know what I was worried about. Ooh, a bunch of level ups. Everyone except Shell Shock are leveled up. Audino, the hearing Pokemon. Audino's sense of hearing is superb. Not even a pebble rolling along over a mile away will escape Audino's ears. Fascinating. In which case, I will name you, after Roger's informant from the Big O, Big Ear. Watch the Big O, you cowards. All right, I think that about wraps it up for this particular episode. We kind of got our ass kicked by that Suicune in the Max Raid Adventure, but uh, you know what? It's a learning experience, all right? It's never a loss. It's never a failure. It's a learning experience. Everything before the successful run is a practice run. Just remember that. But anyway, in the next episode of my Crown Tundra playthrough, we are going to explore Freezington and then see what's going on over there and meet up with Peony to discuss the Dynamax Adventure, Adventor, Legendary Trip, Road Trip, Buddy Cop Movie, Extravaganza, whatever the hell it was he was talking about. So anyway, give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more in the future. Leave a comment telling me what your favorite part was. And what your- what the hell did that guy just do? Right, I think I better end this video before the entire universe collapses around me because, uh... Folks are breaking physics. It's not great. That's usually an omen.